The growth of a hedge is a fantastic concept whether your goal is to create a private space or merely to demarcate your yard from the street. Bringing some vibrancy and beauty to your yard, these flowering hedge plants are an excellent choice. Seasonal flowers that smell nice and draw pollinators like bees and butterflies are possible. Let's move on to the flowering hedge shrubs. Number one, Camellia hedge. Camellia is one of the few flowering hedge plants that will bloom in the winter. It is also evergreen and tall, so it makes a perfect privacy screen. Plant camellias in compost-enriched, acidic, well-drained soil and mulch to retain moisture. Water regularly with a drip system the first year. To keep a camellia hedge the size you want it, prune after it has finished blooming using very sharp, clean sequitures. Camellia hardy in zone 6 to 10. Number two, Rose of Sharon. The Rose of Sharon is a huge, fast-growing shrub that can be used as a beautiful floral hedge. It is in full bloom from summer through fall. Its tropical-looking blossoms belie the bushy's resilience. In fact, it's a member of the high hibiscus family. And if you're planting the hedge to keep the deer away from your garden, you'll be happy to know that it has some resistance to the critters. You should avoid the rows of Sharon kinds that are known to self-seed profusely if you want a low-maintenance hedge. Rows of Sharon may be grown in zones five through eight. Number three, center stage crepe middle is a thinner growing shrub than the species, making it an ideal choice for compact gardens. Besides being more robust and disease resistant, the purple or black foliage is quite beautiful. This crepe middle provides wonderful three-season interest in the landscape. It is an excellent option if you want a tall, long-blooming hedge that doesn't require any maintenance. It attracts pollinators and birds and repels deer, hardy in zone 6B to 10. Number 4. Encore Azalea. The Encore Azalea, a North American native, as well as several of the smaller Asian kinds are also excellent choices for hedges. Pruning is not necessary for their health, but if you want to shape them up, do it just after they stop flowering. Otherwise, you risk killing the buds for the following year. Keep in mind that the loser habit of some azaleas makes them unsuitable for use as a hedge. Choose one of the more compact varieties. Hardy from USDA zones 6 through 10. Number 5. Bridal Wreath Spiria. Tossing of the bouquet as you won't want to cut its arching branches, your white flowering spiria shrub will require room to grow. All along the row of bushes, white double flowers cascade gracefully to the ground, creating a sight that is quite stunning. Various sources have referred to it as a fountain. It is best to prune the shrub just after it blooms so that it doesn't get too lanky. In the autumn, the leaves take on a fiery orange and crimson hue. This plant is hardy in USDA plant hardiness, zones five through nine. Number six, Lilac Centara Pura. Flowers of Thesantara pura lilac are a stunning shade of deep purple, and the plant itself has a powerful, pure lilac aroma. The green foliage remains attractive long after the flowers have gone due to the plant's resistance to disease. For the best results, plant this lilac in an area with mild winters. Prepare a soil with good drainage. The soil should not be treated before planting. When flowers have done blooming, cut them back. It's safe to say that these plants can survive in zones two through eight. Number seven, panicle hydrangea. Hydrangea paniculata plants produce enormous flowers that open white but mature to a greenish or pink hue. Panicle hydrangeas prefer moist, well-drained soil but can withstand drought better than their macrophile counterparts. 
remove all but the lowest two or three nodes of the plant each late winter. The buds don't need to be pruned because they blossom on new wood. It can survive in zones three to eight with no problems. Number eight, Wygilla. Wygilla is an evergreen shrub that forms a low spreading mound. It is a low maintenance plant that can grow in most well-drained soils and creates a clean, colorful hedge along the boundary. You might as well have a flowering hedge that flowers continuously throughout the season. Hummingbirds flock to this bush, but deer stay away. USDA hardiness zones four through eight. Well, thanks for watching video from Catchy Garden. Don't forget to click like and subscribe button to always support our channel. You can also turn on the notification bell to get the latest videos from us. We'll see you in the next videos.